Hey guys, as you may already know, TODT is my favorite soul crushing tower. With its exquisite gameplay, very consistent difficulty, and just amazing wraparounds, it's truly one of the best soul crushing towers in, in the game. But I do have one problem with it. You see, times have kind of changed since when this was first built, and while this might have been great for 2019, the standards really don't work today. I mean, just, just look at floor 6. This is like literal garbage gameplay like what even what Th this is awful it's just it's too blocky shapes are all wrong and this is a big problem however i have a simple solution that i think will work wonderfully you see all we need to do here is just select the todt model and then we just want to go over to shape and we'll make it cylinder boom this already looks so much better and one thing you might notice, if you're just looking at this, is that there's still wedges. Don't worry. I wrote a script for that. That will instantly convert all of the wedges into spheres. And there you go. In just those two simple steps, we have converted TODT from a garbage tower into this literal peak gameplay experience. I mean, just look at this. And now we're going to go into the game and test out this wonderful masterpiece that has been created. All right, we are in game now, and this is our modernized TODT. And while to the untrained eye, this just looks weird, this is peak modern gameplay. Starting off, we have a bit of a different route progression than normal. On the first floors, it might be a little more difficult to see. All right, and we come over here and, um, oh. Um, and I'm sure it's possible, it's fine. And, oh, um, you know, this is continuing to be a problem. Uh, y you know what? I'm sure you can do some, like, wacky glitch to get past all these parts. It's, it's, it's fine. Just, let's just keep going. And, uh, this is a truly easy gameplay. This is truly good gameplay. And, okay, we are trapped again. Let's just, let's just go over here. I, 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 I'm sure this is all, oh, gosh, what, um, uh, all right, continuing up. Tight ropes are a little broken, as you can see. Maybe, yeah, see, you don't even need a tight rope. It's as it's, it's simple as that. It's not even that hard. See, look, this revamp is a lot better than the original. It has way more interesting route progression. It's way more interesting. Hold on. I think, yeah, that jump is very possible. It's not that hard. Oh, and see, look, at this is really creative. You have to use the frame to do this obstacle. See, that's, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, oh, I think what you have to actually do here is you, you, you do this. Ready? Ready? And then you flick on over here. And, and bam, there you go. That's simple gameplay, simple game. All right, and then you do a little, another little frame wrap right there. See, this is, this is truly innovative gameplay. I can't believe can't believe no one else has come up with this before. And boom, there, see? Floor four. This is just how I, this is just even better than I remember. Now, I'm curious to see what happened with this part, because this part was pretty hard in the original. Let's see what the revamp does, and whoa. You see this, this is interesting gameplay. You see, this is almost better than normal modern towers, because this is better. Continuing on, we have this rather interesting jump, and uh, another uh, interesting section over here. I, I I'm I'm sure it's possible. There, there's there's there has to be a way. All right, so this this part was changed a little bit. You see now, instead of having to worry about this wall, you can just not worry about it. All right, so this part's a little different than I remember. It looks like we might have to use the frame again. We're using the frame, and it looks like there's not actually a way up here, but as you can see, you get to go into side, you, you might actually be able to go into side C, so let, let's see. So if we do this, and you do a little flick there, and you flick again, and there you go. See, it's, it's not that bad. With some careful jumping, we are on side C. 
And right here, it looks like you have to do a little interesting jump. You go down here, and then you go up there. It's all part of it's all part of the tower, so it's not that hard. Started to realize that maybe we can't actually do side C yet because the that jump isn't very possible. So it looks like if we go over here, and then we come down here, and we go up here. Yeah, look, side side B is available. We're playing, and oh, it's all button activated platforms. All right, on second thought, um, the that part might not be possible. So we're just we're just gonna skip ahead back to side A where we were, and then we walk over here and. You know, really, the great part of this revamp is you kind of have to figure out the path yourself, which is something that is really underutilized in modern towers, and I, I really feel like this tower is really leading the way. Like, see, you can you can walk up there, and now you're on this post, or you could do that path. It's, it's really diverse. Um, it's really kind of just find your own way to the wind pad. So it looks like we're on side B. And now it looks like we are back on side A. This very interesting route progression that this is taking. I'll just turn up the graphics so you can kind of see. It, it's it's a really cool like steampunk aesthetic this this tower has. Um, I didn't really have it before, and I'm happy that I was able to kind of give it that unique theme. Continue on side A. It looks like for a bit we do this part. We head up. And looks like we're almost on floor eight of side A, I guess. I don't know which side it would be. Um, oh, wait, no, that's just another dead end. Sorry. All right. I I'm still kind of trying to figure out a route. And you see, it's like this tower is very maze-like. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell where to go. Oh, see, you're supposed to go up here. Oh, that's so cool. There's some fade platforms there. Ooh, what's that, what's that over there? Alright, I think maybe we're supposed to go down here. And, um... Go over here. And... Bam! See ya! Ooh, it's dark now. It's kind of a cool aesthetic. I can't see anything. Alright, so then we head up here. Alright, I don't, I, I don't really know what's going on. I gotta be honest. Oh, but it looks like these cylinder jumps are kind of the same, which I'm, I'm glad that the revamp was able to give that kind of nod to the original. Um, that's really cool. And we have one of these weird tight ropes again. Um, not, 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 oh, um, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do those. So then I think you go over here and then you go up here. Huh, I, I it's kind of dark. I can't really see much, I'll be honest, but, you know, I, I think I'm going the right way. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna be honest, guys, I have no idea where I am. I was able to find the lighting changer. Lighting's back to normal. Um, it looks like we're on floor 10. Uh, it's a little different than I remember. Ladder jump up here. Uh, oh, that was the wrong way. Aha! Alright, um, oh, it looks like this part was also unchanged. Another nod to the original. All right, and we're almost at the wind pad, guys. This is this is the coolest revamp ever. Um, oh, uh, I I kind of had a no clip that section, but it looks like you kind of have to jump on the top of this and then you jump to the wind pad. Oh, I see. All right. So overall, I would rate this uh revamp ten ten cylinders out of ten wedges. Very good. I really like the route progression in the second half. So you choose your own path. There are a few impossible parts, but I'm sure the community can get over that. But other than that, it's honestly a great revamp, and I expect this to be implemented in the next two hours. Alright, goodbye.